Alright guys, this is how to ace stoichiometry. This is what I've done to get a 5 on all stoichiometry problems. Or get them right at least, I mean. So this is brought to you by ASAP. Uh, so this is just my two really simple tips to get a 5, and I'm pretty sure it will really, really help you to get a good score on your um, exam. So one is just don't ever skimp out on writing out your um, units. So you need to write units because that's really going to help you know which is which, and well, if you'll see the next one, stoichiometry is basically a giant conversion problem. So if you have units, it'll help you to treat it as a conversion problem, which is basically what stoichiometry is, with the addition of um, adding and subtracting every so often if you need to like take away or like percent yield. Some of that stuff is a little more than a conversion problem, but for the most part, it's a conversion problem. And you guys have to remember that stoichiometry is extremely important because it's um, basically all of chemistry. So here's just a problem, I'm going to show you why it's a conversion problem. So you just have your um, reactants, methane and oxygen, and it just becomes your product, so it's converted to that. Therefore, it is a conversion problem. And just for an example, let's say the problem is asking for carbon dioxide, and you're given 5.15 grams of oxygen. So it's just conversion. You take your grams, and they convert it to moles of oxygen, making sure that you're writing out the reactants, I mean, sorry, the elements that are attached to the units. And then you'll cross out it, cross it out like a conversion problem, and then you'll convert to moles, cross it out. See, it's all conversion. You're all converting to something new. And then you'll get to your product, uh, your answer that you want. So it's converted to that. Now, it's not all obviously a one-to-one -one ratio. But I just did that to show you that it's all a conversion. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked my really short video on what I've done to get a five. Uh, like and subscribe, please. And we hope you ace.